One evening when I was um, making dinner, I had to go and teach a class, so I'm doing the hustle that most parents do, where you're trying to make dinner quickly because I'm about to get out the door. And my youngest daughter, who was five at the time, comes into the kitchen and she's looking not happy. And I could see that she's got some feelings on board. And I'm like, oh, I've got to do the dinner, I've got to get out the door. And I actually turned to her and said, honey, do you think you could hold on to your feelings for a few hours? <laughs> Which, of course, as you can imagine, she just looked at me like, are you kidding? <laughs> and then at that moment, my middle daughter, who was 10, walked into the room and she said, I'll listen to her feelings. And I'm like, well, okay. So my 10-year-old takes the five-year-old into the bedroom and I'm thinking, I'm gonna be late for work, I need to see what happens here. And I'm standing outside the door and this is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing my 10-year-old say, tell me all about it. And then the five-year-old starts crying and she starts complaining about all the things that had happened at kinder. And the 10-year-old's going, oh, that's hard. What else? And then there's more complaining and then there's more tears and then there's giggles and then there's laughter. And then they come out of the room and I see my 10-year-old and I say to her, Honey, how was that for you? And she looked at me and she said, Well, Mama, I just did to her what you did for me.